I feel like some tea. Would anybody care to join me? Ladies, I cannot condone this. Oh, what a wonderful idea, tea party. I believe that patience is the better part of valor. Miss Huddleston, ladies, remember, the Boston Tea Party started a revolution. Just one more payment. Yoo-hoo, preacher man. I missed you at church on Sunday. Well, it was a sweet invitation, but I had to perform. And call me Dolly. Everybody does. What have you got here? Well, this is where you've been wiring all that money. Why, well, I am devastated. I didn't know you were betrothed. I'm not. Yet. Well, then there's still hope. I'll tell you what. I'll come to church on Sunday. I promise. Praise God. If and you come inside and see we don't have uh, horns or a tail. Oh. I'll bring Twyla, too. No, thank you, Miss Abigail. He don't drink tea. I don't? No, I don't. Thank you just the same. Miss Abigail, I would like to extend an invitation to you and your lady friends to join us at church tomorrow morning. <laughs> you boys had me going there for a minute. Church. I suppose you're the preacher. Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, I am. A woman is a thing of beauty. A woman is a joy to behold. And pleasing man is her singular duty. At least that's what we're told. A woman is a genuine treasure. Now she'll perform for your pleasure. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, we just came for some tea. We don't serve women here. Very light, you best be getting home. Are you coming? Christy, I think it'd be best if you and the other ladies would leave. If it's proper enough for a preacher, it's proper enough for us. Um, you women are going to ruin me. Now they ain't. Get on with it. You're just in time for my next number. I see you've gotten your health back. Oh, I've been in remission for months. Singing and dancing are just part of my therapy. Let's not pretend to false modesty. It's much too late for that now. True words. True words have finally come out of your mouth. 
Too late. Miss Halston, you stay. I'd like to get to know my mother's new daughter. No, Christy, go. I knew Neil was right. I had no business here. But Margaret's eyes held me like a pin to a butterfly. I felt myself flutter, but couldn't move. It's a dance that matters, Miss Huddleston. That door closing was one of the loneliest sounds I've ever heard. That night, I stayed awake wondering what was happening on the other side. What do you think? I don't rightly know. Do you like my shoes? They're right pretty. Must be hard to run in them, though. I'm not playing chase anymore, Rob. I'm a grown girl now. How didn't you notice? I'm noticing your hair is sweating color down your head. Renee? What on earth have you done to your beautiful red hair? Why would you do such a thing? I'm trying to hold on to my man, that's what. Just because he don't know it yet, don't mean I'm going to lose him to no dancer women in El Pano. <sighs> Miss Christie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. Who are you expecting? Well, I guess I've been up here alone so long. I'm getting a bit jumpy. Dan, have you seen Dr. McNeil since... Since his wife came back. Margaret's at Neil's? No, I mean she's back in El Pano. I'll be seeing the doctor. Would you like for me to tell him that you need to speak with him? Privately. Thank you, Dan. I've been thinking and praying about something. The women always sit on this side, and the men on that side. After last night, I reckon some sat in different rooms. Tried different cabins. I wished I'd have a different cabin. Well, I wished you did, too. Oh, you men just burned me up, acting like you're the ones that's been put upon. Woman, I got a pump knot on my head the size of a winter pine cone. No one left their heart in El Pano. Just some foolish pride. And about a ton of broken china. <laughs> <laughs> you need to forgive these men. And men, you can help by having respect for your wives and their feelings. Now, I want everybody to stand up and move to sit next to your husband or your wife. 
I mean it now. Jeb, stand up and take hold of your wife. Make her feel better. So what's Margaret going to do now? She's going to go to Atlanta with the other girls. You're not angry at her anymore? Maybe you've just stopped caring. Maybe you've finally forgiven her. Maybe. Or perhaps I've finally forgotten her. Dan Scott's place. Hang on. Dan, it's too late. 